Hey everybody, it's that college football guy here in another video. As my headset decides to make, a, make an appearance. <laughs> it's time once again for another schedule preview. And this time it's a subscriber school. It's Memphis, the Memphis Tigers. They had an up and down year last year. I'll put it that way. They finished seven and six. Um, it just seemed like they started off going, I mean, it started off, I'll get into what happened. They started off, had a good start to the season and it just didn't seem to click after that. Um, but what the story this year so this year could be possibly better well excuse me Oof. we'll see about that um am i asking usually where am i at well i'm in um bethel pennsylvania i'm on my way to cranberry new jersey i'm not making it up b-u-r-y is in getting buried but bury new jersey um <clears throat> make a delivery there nine o'clock tomorrow morning um, I was going to go straight there. I had a chance to park overnight, but unfortunately there was a couple accidents on the 83 and the 78 going inbound, the two ways I could go in, and I would run out of time before I got there by quite a bit. I pulled into here with like half an hour of my 11-hour drive time left, so I'm like, yeah, I can't get two hours and 30 minutes. It's not going to work, so let's be smart about it, and I'll just drive the two hours in the morning just to be smart. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for schedule preview. Now... The schedule preview videos, for those who haven't seen them, I do a comparison. We'll do a comparison last year's schedule and this last season's schedule and this season's schedule. We're going to compare the non-cons from last season and this season. We'll decide which one's tougher. And then we'll go through last season's schedule and this season's schedule, and we'll decide which one's tougher. So first off, we'll compare the non-cons from last year and this year. Now, we're going to see which one's tougher. Schedule-wise, will be tougher, but we'll see here. But first off, the non-conference games. At Mississippi State, home against Arkansas State, home against North Texas, home against North Alabama. One Power Five, two Group of Five, one FCS, the Power Five's on the road. Excuse me. Now, so I got a cold. Ugh. This season, home against Bethune Cookman at Arkansas State. Neutral site game against Missouri. It's in the old dome in St. Louis where the Rams used to play. They'll be playing the game there. I think it's the dome at the America Center, I think is what they're calling it now. I'm not sure about that. They play neutral site against Missouri and then they're home against Boise State. One Power Five, two Group of Five, one FCS. Power Five is a neutral site game and a Group of Five is on the road. Um... Normally, I'd say the Power Five <clears throat> would be the winner. But the comment, this one, I'm going to have to let you guys decide in the comments because you got one Power Five on the road, two Group of Fives at home, and one FCS at home. The FCS is still at home, but you got a neutral side game in Missouri, which is basically almost the equivalent of a road game, but it's not quite. And you got to also have a road game in Arkansas, Arkansas State, a team you played last year. So you tell me. I'm thinking this season may be a little bit tougher barely, but at Mississippi State versus the other two, uh, it's almost a push, isn't it? But you let me know now, then again, you look at this way, if you consider that a push, Arkansas State, Mississippi State, the same as Missouri and Arkansas State, um, North Texas was a non-conference game, now it's a conference game this year, they added Boise State, so you let me know down in the comments what you think here. Now, last season's schedule in its entirety. Start off the season at Mississippi State. They lost 49-23. No one's really surprised about that one. It was a tough way to start the year. Then they went right into conference play right after and played another road game at Navy and won 37-13. Then they went back home for home games against Arkansas State, 144-32. Home against North Texas, 144-34. So basically the same game. Back at a conference play against Temple. One at home against well, Temple, 24-3. So they're 4-1. Then the skid happened. Home against Houston, lost 33-32, to heartbreaker. At East Carolina, this was a game, lost 47-45 to in four overtimes. It was a game, so back-to-back -back tough games. Against Houston and East Carolina. Houston at home, East Carolina on the road. And then at Tulane, lose 38-28. to Then they get the bye week, and then they're home against UCF, lose 38-25. to So their fourth toughest opponents were all in a row. Minus the Mississippi State game to start the year. The four toughest conference opponents in a row. No break. That's tough. We had a bye week, but that didn't help much. 
After UCF, they go and play Tulsa at home. They win 26-10. And they face North Alabama, the FCS school. Blow them out, rip them apart 59 to nothing. Finish the regular season at SMU and lose 34-31. But they do go into the bowl game, the first responder bowl, against Mountain West Conference team Utah State, and they win handily 38-10. So, 7-6 here, like I said, they had a good start, but those four games in a row just really, really hurt them. They had a little bit coming out of it, but I think the SMU game was just fatigue at that point. But they rested up, came back, and did well in the bowl game. Now, this season, what's their schedule? Home against Bethune-Cookman at Arkansas State. Back in a conference play, home against Navy. They always play Navy in the year, apparently. Then the neutral site game against Missouri in St. Louis. Home against Boise State. Then there's the bye. So last season, they had four, five, six, eight games before the bye. Now they have five games before the bye, seven after. They come out of the bye at home against Tulane. Then at UAB, at North Texas, which is now a conference game, home against USF, at Charlotte, home against SMU, and then at Temple. Which schedule's tougher? Well, the way I judge it, the road games. I don't count neutral side as a road game. Because it's not. All right, so last year's road games. At Mississippi State, at Navy, at East Carolina, at Tulane, at SMU. The only team that they played on the road that didn't have a winning record was Navy. Their toughest opponents were all road games. This season's road games, at Arkansas State, at UAB, at North Texas, at Charlotte, at Temple. I think last season's schedule is tougher. Because those games, I just don't see any comparison between the two. I just see last season's games as being tougher than this season's game. So the non-cons, I'm kind of torn between which one it is because it's kind of almost even. But you can let me know in the comments. But I think last season's schedule was definitely tougher than this season's schedule. But as always, you can also let me know in the comments. Yeah, I stopped mid-sentence because I got a guy who's punching his mirror on his truck. Ah, it popped out of place. He pulled in. I wasn't paying attention to him as he pulled in, like, not this next truck, but the next truck over that. He pulled in the mirror, and it kind of popped out a little bit. I was figuring out it was like that. He just was literally hitting it with his fist to get it back in. Okay. Now I'm going with your bad self. Anyway, so thanks, everybody, <laughs> for watching the video as people assault trucks in the parking lot here. <clears throat> Excuse me. As people assault trucks in the parking lot here. Um... Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you haven't done already, please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. One, do you think last year's non-conference games were tougher? Or do you think this year's non-conference games are tougher? And also, point two for this, do you think last season's schedule was tougher? Or do you think this season's schedule is tougher? And the third question, they finished seven and six last year, and you saw all the road games they had, and they went seven and six. Do they have a shot at having a better record this year? Because I look at the games. I mean, this isn't a preview. This isn't a prediction. This is a preview. And I'm looking at this, and you've got Bethune home games, Bethune, Cookman, Navy, Boise State, Tulane's at, Tulane and Boise, they may have, may have Tulane, they're gonna have trouble with Boise, Boise traveling east. They should have an advantage for that. Um, SF at home, SMU at home, Temple Show. They, I think they have a chance to win more than seven games this year, counting the bowl game. But let me know down in the comments if you think they could do better than seven and six this year. And I know my Memphis fans who are in the comments, subscribers, let me know what you think about this. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel. On the way to 400 subscribers, slowly on that crawl to 500, working away up to 1,000. And if you have subscribed to the channel or going to be, thank you very much for doing so. But remember, if you do subscribe... Make sure you hit the notifications bell. It'll let you know when I post a video. I post one almost, I try to post one every single day. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Now we're doing a time check. Last time I was here, it took a little while to upload, but I was doing like 8 o'clock at night and we had a lot of cloud cover. Now we don't have that much cloud cover and I'm doing a time check. It is 3.04 Eastern time here in Pennsylvania. Let's see how long this one takes to upload. <laughs> All right, so thanks everybody for watching. 
Um, another schedule preview video tomorrow. Although, if I get a phone call, a couple phone calls in that I got out from some friends of mine back out west, I may be doing something about the Mountain West. Um, not about San Diego State, but who they're looking at to join when San Diego State leaves. And if there's anybody else that's talking about leaving as well. Um, but if that's, I'm, I'm, I have some people that talk about San Diego, about the Mountain West, and the, those are the ones that, because I lived in Vegas for 40 years. A lot of people I knew in Vegas, they went and worked at UNLV, they've gone to other places, and I'm hearing a few things there, so that's, I have a little more connection there than I do here for living there so long. But we'll see what happens on that. If that happens, I'll do a, a, a conference realignment video tomorrow. If not, it's going to be another schedule preview. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Please be safe out there. I have passed a lot of fatal accidents on the way here. In one accident, I was thankful the driver was okay. He was on 81 North. He's not paying attention to the road. There's kind of a sharp curve. I guess he was on his phone, and there's no guardrail. He went down an embankment, and it went straight first into a tree. The hood was pushed off. Excuse me. The hood was pretty much shot. The um, engine block was pushed into the crew cab compartment. He walked out. He was walking out, walking fine. Got checked, was getting checked up by the ambulance, but, was, but God, they checked after I saw him, we were stopped in traffic, waiting to see if everything was okay. The cops started letting us go. He got up and walked up and was pulled out his phone and was taking pictures. So I guess he's okay, thankfully. But please, be safe out there. Pay attention to the roads, and please, be good to each other.